Hi everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to be playing some Ganesh. That's not Ganesh. There he is. We're up against King Arthur. What is this? King Arthur is not played in duel very often. I mean, neither is Ganesh. Now, in my opinion, I think Ganesh is one of the worst, like, guardians. Excuse me while I take a sip of water and move my microphone. Um, yeah, I, I don't think he's that good. I think his combo is really uh, difficult overall to hit and unreliable and easy to juke and easy to counter. And he's just an easy god to beat. Um, however, if we're against King Arthur, King Arthur, I feel like Ganesh does pretty well into because of my silence. My silence can silence his spin to win. And I mean, I guess he can't get out of my ultimate combo super easily i guess he could auto attack out of it i don't know we'll have to see uh i don't know this matchup i just have never i've never had the chance to play it so this will be a first king arthur is generally known as uh not very good god in duel because his objective push is just really bad uh so we'll we'll see what happens i mean i don't i don't really know what to expect you know we're just we're just gonna find out now with Ganesh, I do have a lot of damage with my 1 and 3. My 1 actually buffs me and allies, but I don't have any allies. Uh, so we have more damage and we can clear faster with that. Um, we can actually insta-clear this wave if we group it up. He's already out of mana, man. What happened? Where's your mana? If we actually smack each other, I think I do more damage than him. I think I will slowly kill him. <laughs> now he has to clear the wave. I'm out. I don't have my three, but I just kind of want him to stay over here. Nah. Normally, it's awful to alt without the three, but I figured it's like, well, he's just going to recall anyways, so I could throw out my alt and maybe get something, maybe keep him with my mini wave, but he just walked through it. Nice thing about Ganesh Hall is, like, I mean, look at the cooldown. I have it back already pretty soon. And that is because I have 20% cooldown right now. I mean, only 30 more seconds. So, literally, <laughs> there's almost no downside to just throwing out Ganesh Hall and either trying for the combo or just for the hell of it, quite honestly. Because it's it's pretty damn short cooldown, unless you're not going to go cooldown at all in your build. All right, let's go back. Um... We're going to get tier 2 Bancrofts. And let's continue. Uh, there's a few starts you can go on Ganesh that I, you know, I mean, when I say success, I mean better than not going starters, I guess. Um, you can either go Gem or Sands of Time or even Vamp, Vampiric Shroud. I feel like those are all pretty good. I'm opting for the Sands of Time here just so I can get my ultimate back as fast as possible and try to go for the combo as often as possible. And we missed it, unfortunately. It's like I said before, it's a really hard combo to hit, especially when your opponent is dancing around a lot. Whoa, that did a ton of damage. I didn't mean to walk into that. Oh, I'm a that's unfortunate. I was just trying to clear the wave, man. I was just trying to clear the wave. I wasn't trying to get hit by the one. Yeah, King Arthur's really good at, like, actually fighting in duel, but he's not so good at, like, taking tower, taking phoenix, taking titan. So when earlier when I said he's not that good in duel, uh, that's what I meant. He's great at getting kills, he's great at fighting you, you know, building tanky while also doing tons of damage, but in terms of actually winning, he has, he has a tough time. In fact, we could, if we wanted to, we could make it even more tough for him if we go Emperor's. Just saying, I want to have the highest chances possible of winning as Ganesh, and I feel like that's our way. We're going to need a Divine Ruin for his stuff pretty soon. There we go. I think he thought he could kill me before I killed him, but nope. He walked through my ultimate, reduced his protections. Takes a ton of damage because of that. Good stuff. All right, we recall. Now the game is back to neck and neck. I guess I'm a little bit ahead. We'll get a chalice. These mana potions were a little bit unnecessary. Could have got more health potions because that's the one thing I forget about Sands of Time. If you start Sands of Time, 
and you're going to pick up blue buff, you really don't need mana potions. You can either save the gold or just go, uh, you know, go more health potions. Either way. We'll take his red buff. Although I think he's going to come over here pretty soon. No, he's in lane. I want to hit at least one combo this game. Even if it's just one. Even if it's just one. I think I'll go Divine Ruin next item to counter his Soul Eater and Chalice. Anti-heal does apply to potions and HP 5. Um, Ajax has said multiple times that anti-heal shouldn't apply to HP 5, uh, but it still does. <laughs> and I don't know if they're ever going to change that. It's always been like that in this game. Oh, man. I should place it a little bit farther back. I'm going to try to place it farther back in the future. I don't need a beads this. We're fine. We'll save the beads for a more dire alt later on. Damn, he is starting to hit pretty hard. Pretty, pretty hard. I'm tempted to go with Typhons, but it depends on if he gets gets a lot of anti-heal, like Pestilence Brawlers. And I probably won't care for it too much. If he doesn't, I mean, it could be on the table. Could give us a lot of damage, a lot of sustain. This is such an awkward fight, man. You don't see this in Duel. You don't you don't see Gandash fighting King Arthur. It just doesn't happen. Oh, look at that damage. Oh, but he's going to do damage to me. Good thing I saved my beads, right? I mean, I will admit 90% of the time I'm holding on to my beads. And it's actually not good for me. But there definitely was better to beads there than the previous fight. Oh, I really hope he doesn't come over to this speed buff. And the skin is so loud, too. All right, back. I'm not going to pick it up because we don't need speed buff. I mean, I, I guess I should have picked it up. Nothing else is up. I am going to go Emperors because I want to win this game. I want to win it back. No, wait, wait, wait. Divine, then Emperors. I want to win this game, and I think it's how you beat King Arthur. We need to save our relic. Oh, he's going uh, Cat Shield. So he wants increased healing for the Soul Eater and his Chalice. Um, so we could even consider a Contagion now. Uh, although I think Emperors would still be better. What are that? That's, that's really the only anti-heal item I can build. We're not going to go Toxic Blade Ganesh. Although we could. We could go Toxic Blade Ganesh. Um, anti-heal items do stack. But no, we're not going Auto Attack Ganesh. Not today, anyways. Maybe I could be convinced. Funny story, I actually went a auto attack Jing Tian build on my stream today, thinking it was going to go terribly, and it actually went super well. Uh, I might edit it into a YouTube video if I have a chance. We'll see. He has no mana. Good sir, you have no mana. But you also heal a lot. What happens if we just auto attack each other infinitely? Unlucky. Keep placing a little bit far forward, but obviously you can just change directions. Oh no! Oh no, he, he got his ultimate. Normally I wouldn't fight there, but he just had such little mana. I'm surprised he actually got it back pretty fast. None of these items give MP5. I guess Warrior's Axe. Uh, yeah, it gives you 25 mana whenever it procs. So that's how he got his ability. Mm, I'm thinking I'm thinking we should wait. 
on our item. And you know what? We should go Contagion as well. The reason I'm waiting on my Relic is if he gets Horrific, I want Sprint. If he gets something else, I go Sunder. But I think we want to wait to see what he gets first. Unless I just want to get a Sprint right away, then it doesn't really matter what he gets. But yeah, the worst thing in Duel is getting your second Relic and then your opponent picks up Horrific and you have no way out of it. That's why he is waiting on his as well, I assume. And if I go Horrific, it's not really a great idea because King Arthur's uh, not affected by slows in most of his abilities. Although I can just silence him out of those. I need to be using my silence better. We've used it pretty good so far. All right, now we have all the buffs warded. He might come over here. We don't want to fight him in the jungle. Is he building Heartseeker? Nah, he went this way. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Now we can go for a speed. Oh, he took our speed. Never mind. I forgot about Forgot about that, or did I even see him go for that? Ah, eh, it doesn't really matter. Crazy idea could be a Karen's coin, if only because we know he's going to go a ton of tank items, and we want lots of pen late game, like Karen's coin plus Rod plus something else. I usually don't go Karen's coin in duel, but if you build it somewhat early enough. I guess it's not that early. It's our second last item. Obsidian would probably be better. Oh, we got it! Yep, there it is. There's the alt 3 combo on Ganesh. Hit for 1,272 against the King Arthur. It's a very good combo. But it's mostly, it's less skill, more luck, I feel like. One thing you can do is you can start a horrific to slow your opponent so it'll be easier to hit the combo and then you, you can actually guarantee it every time. But then, you know, they just build sprint later on and now you're down a relic slot. Oh, I can't even do anything here. Never mind. There's the heart seeker. Which is interesting on King Arthur because you usually don't see high power builds on King Arthur. So if he goes Heartseeker, that means he's going to want a bunch of power behind it. Because Heartseeker scales on physical power in a weird and twisted way. We actually need to defend this. So maybe he's not going a tanky King Arthur build after all. He's going to go steal my speed buff. That is okay. Uh... Karen's coin. Hmm. Sure. I think it's going to be nerfed next patch. Might as well try it out a bit right now. He went thorns, which means we go sunder. We don't need our sprint. Again, horrific could sometimes work on Ganesh, but against King Arthur, uh, you know, I don't know. You pop horrific, he can auto attack out of the alt or he can dash out of it or whatever. Oh, I still got it. Nice. Yeah, even there, I put it... If you notice, I put it behind me. But by the time the animation finishes for the ultimate, it's already, like, too late. Like, he's already moved so far. So you have to predict them, which, again, involves so much luck for an ability like that. And I did miss him with the dash when I ulted, but he was already out of the ult anyways. It didn't really matter. All right, let's back and get Garen's coin. I think the Contagion was a good idea when he went Cad Shield. Alright, let's think about our item. I think Rod of Duty last item. We'll finish our build with 20% cooldown with our Sands of Time upgraded, which will be 30% with Power Potion, which is a good amount to have. Um, don't, need, don't need max cooldown on Ganesh. It's not super important because his ult's already pretty low cooldown. Like again, we almost have it up again. 
Yeah, I think a Rod of Tutti would be fine. Or Typhons. Typhons is still an option. Typhons actually gives more damage than Rod of Tutti. And, well, I shouldn't say more damage. It gives more stats because of the increased life still, and it's just generally better if your opponent doesn't go overboard on the anti-heal. If they do, then I think Rod's better. But I'm, I'm, I'm actually leaning towards the Typhons right now. And not not gonna beat that. We're full health. Oh, I missed. Oh my goodness, that was so scary. That was going really well and bad for us. But the moment I missed my three, uh, he could have killed us. And luckily, we kind of maneuvered around it, and he was kind of all over the place as well. It worked out. It worked out. But uh, missing that three was very bad for us. We also have one stack of Karen's coin now, which is cool. The movement speed stack, I think, is better in duel. Again, most usually don't build the item very often, but it can be nice. It can be nice if we get some stacks on it. Looks like he's not even getting, like, like usually, I would say nine out of 10 King Arthurs I see in duel are going triple defense, double defense. But no, I mean, technically he doesn't even have a defense item. Well, proper defense item. This gives a little bit of magical protection. So the Karen's Coin might actually end up being overkill anyways. But even if it is, I don't mind having it. Like, it's still giving us a good amount of damage. He's got 124 defense. So Karen's Coin is coming out to a little bit over, like, 20 pen. Yeah, not bad. Oh, man. Again, might as well throw out the alt as often as possible because you're going to miss it unless you're against someone <laughs> that is, you know, bad at juking. Most people are pretty good at getting out of the ability. So just throw it out as often as possible because, hey, eventually you'll, you'll hit it. That's unfortunate. Yeah, a lot harder than I was expecting. We could upgrade this too, but I'm actually going to prioritize our Typhon's Fang because he doesn't have any anti-heal. Ooh, big mistake. He should be taking this time to take my tower. King Arthur has very few opportunities to take objectives, and he should take it any chance he gets. Yeah, so my, my tower is living. Oh, look. <laughs> As I'm recording this game, someone followed on Twitch. I don't remember if my Twitch alerts show up when I'm recording, but... If they do, you guys just saw the an emote I commissioned recently of my cat jamming. Uh, it was done by Likoi. Ooh, my three's not up, unfortunately. Oh, whoops, I canceled my two too early. I thought I hit him. Now this is kind of bad for us because now my ult's down and he is doing a ton of damage. So we have to be... I'm actually going to give this up. No, it's not worth it. We're super late into this game. Uh, losing tower is not even a big deal. I mean, again, it's nice to keep the tower up against King Arthur, but there... I mean, he even popped his thorns. There's a Sundering Axe. I forget what it does. Um... Oh, Sundering Axe is based on protections. Interesting, because he doesn't have that many protections. Okay, and how much did it hit me for? 260? That's a decent amount. All right, let's get this item. And our power is gonna go from 60 from this item to 430. That's a lot of power. Typhon's Fang is a huge power spike if you already have Bancrofts. And it does have pen, which is nice. A one snap hitting for 335, good amount of damage. Decent amount of damage, I should say. We do poke him down slowly but surely. 
Why did you walk through that? <laughs> I was just about to say bummer I missed again and then he walked through it. Now if you're against Ganesh, you get stuck in the middle, you stay in the middle unless he got beads up. Him not having beads is huge, by the way. It means that when I hit that, I can guarantee that all the damage is going to hit. Again, 1,400 damage on the ult. Huge scaling, huge damage. Some of the biggest damage from most of the gods in the game, but just super unreliable in a dual setting. In other game modes, you could have like a teammate stun, and then you ult, and then you stun them, and stuff like that, but not in duel. My brother and I, we have a we have a combo called Elephant in the Nox, and it's a Nox Ganesh combo, where essentially Nox first hits her one, then Ganesh immediately alts and then stuns, and it's good because even though it's double magical, Ganesh alt shreds magical protection, so it doesn't even matter if they get that many, you know, a little bit of magical defense. It's always fun to play. I've, we haven't done it in a while though. I will say, big respect on the Damage King Arthur build. I see it very rarely. I almost always see the triple defense King Arthur stuff. So seeing a Damage King Arthur build is interesting. I'm also, um, you know, it's catching me off guard almost whenever he kills me. It's like it's just a, quite a bit more damage than I'm used to against King Arthur. You like what you see? I actually wish it, if I did get my Karen's coin, if I got it earlier, but it's at the same time, it's like, what item should I have got instead? And I don't know. I think what we got was fine considering he has Cat Shield plus Soul Eater. No idea where he is. He might come from behind us, but if he does, we have Fire Minions. Um, oh, he's giving up. I could just alt titan but oh, I guess I will <laughs> I don't know you're just chilling in fountain man oh that would have killed him too awesome it's like I didn't want to end but he's chilling in fountain and I don't know either way even if let's pretend the titan was at more HP my combo would have killed him and I would have just killed titan anyway so either way good game very rarely will you see me get Ganesh wins, but when we do, it's always fun. Uh, GG, well played. Here are the stats, and thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. if you guys want to let me know what other gods you want, want to see, and uh, all that good stuff, then let me know. And have a good day, everybody.